Father God, I just want to give you all praise and glory for being my Savior and my Lord. Lord, I want to exalt you with my lips, my hands, my actions. So Lord Jesus, I come to you now just asking for your blessing and anointing my lips and my mind and my creativity. I ask you that you bless each viewer that's watching, Lord, with all that they need for today. Lord, whether it be health, physically or mentally, financial situations, Lord, comfort, you know what they need. So I ask for your blessing upon them. Now bless this uh, video as I prepare it and I do it all in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a long time in coming, but um, and I'll explain a little bit about it, uh, but I want to thank all of you that reached out to me with your concerns and sweet comments and telling you, telling me you miss me and uh, just thank all of you. So uh, let, me, let me explain what's going on. First of all, uh, I've been doing YouTube for maybe five years now and uh, it's getting a little overwhelming for me and we need to take care of ourselves, you know, whether it's physically or mentally. And I just needed to step back to take care of me mentally. And uh, I know you all understand. One thing I want to say that uh, if I don't take care of me mentally, my fibromyalgia will really flare up and it will put me down for uh, a long time. So I really take care in trying to take care of my mental health because that's really to me in my situation the key to my fibromyalgia when I am overloaded depressed I know I am in much more pain so um, I that's why I kind of needed to step back but in the meantime I didn't just sit around I have been working I'm going to show you some pictures of some of the things that I managed to get accomplished. Now my kitchen isn't done. It will be done probably September 19th and this is going to go out much earlier. So I'm going to hold that for the last to show you that uh, remodel. But uh, in the meantime, you know, in February we put in new patio doors and that just got the uh, wheels are going and I, I love to wallpaper so that got me into doing some wallpapering. So I started with my uh, front room and I will insert some videos. Uh, I'm hoping to find them all of the before and the after right here. Let me show you my wall before I start decorating it. Uh, the shelves I did, I cut out a hole in the wall and I made shelves that fit into the wall. And it all needs trimmed, but that will be the last part. And I have to finish painting. I broke mirrors up, so you, and I'm just gonna grout it. Uh, there was a hole that was left here. See how I bumped it out? I bumped this out right here. So I just took my drywall and I framed it out. I had someone finish the drywall up yesterday. I got to put an outlet there. But I wanted shelves and my living room isn't that big so I put them inside the wall. And uh, now I'm going to do some, well I'm going to paint that down there where the drywall was just put on. And uh, I'm gonna transform this wall. I'm gonna put wallpaper up there. I'm the kind of person that likes to bring the outside inside. I'm an old, uh, let me see, what is my style? I'll say rustic, chic, uh, chic rustic, I don't know. But I am more of an antique type of gal. I put new shades. And I took off the curtains. I just, I wanted more light in. And I put shelves up there. I'm going to find matching doorlies because I love doorlies. So I put uh, my old teapots. I'm a teapot collector. But uh, I put shelves up. And if you look up underneath the shelves, they're kind of rustic looking too. Old barn wa whitewashed. I like that. So, once again, this is what the wall looks like, 
and I will show you what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm excited. So, got to get to work. I'll talk to you later. Here's an update of what I've got accomplished so far. So, I've got the glass uh, grout grouted. I think that's what you call it, grouted. Uh, I've got the shelves painted. I've got the drywall on the bottom there uh, on and painted as well. Probably going to have to remove them little plates or tap, um, tile pieces I have there because it's not going to fit what I have coming. The TV, I believe I went up, moved up four inches and uh, I'm removing that grate and putting a new grate in because just can't get that clean. So there's where I'm at for Tuesday and Wednesday I'm going to probably start wallpapering. So I should have it done by the end of the week. But update of my wall. Okay, I am finally getting my back wall done. Whoop. So I'm putting this paneling up because this is a half a wall. I think I'm moving too fast. And then I will put trim up on top, trim on the bottom. I just cut this out. Cut it out a little bit too big, but I think the plate's going to cover it. So. Two more pieces and I'm done. And we'll see what the finished product looks like. All right, I got it all up. Now I got to work on base trim, top trim, and top shelf. So, get the air compressor back out. Oh, dog on it. Back outside, clean this mess up, and get the other saw ready to rock and roll. This is my first miter cut. I haven't stapled or anything. Got to tighten it up on the wall. And I added this trim, or quarter bead, or whatever you call it. And, uh, so I gotta glue it and nail it and caulk it and touch up paint and we'll see how that looks. But that is my first miter. If I can quilt and put binding on, I can do baseboard. Hey Bingo, thanks for walking through my picture. Hi Bingo. And then I started uh, wallpapering my husband's little den. Uh, that was more of a log cabin type of thing. I'm not done with his yet, but because uh, then the kitchen kind of took over. But I'll show you the wallpaper I put up in his room right here. And then after that, uh, I had boxes that filled my front room and my dining room and oh my goodness, it took over my life for two months. I lived with a little path or probably a good month, not two months, a month. I lived with a path just with boxes of all my cabinets that came and plus I was going to start putting on new baseboard so that wood was here as well. So we were just overloaded with everything in our house and uh, I can breathe right now because uh, I put the last of the baseboard on in my dining room. I did all the work myself. We did all the uh, demolishing of the kitchen. Um, I put in 
cut and put in all the molding on the baseboard and the molding around my cabinets and did all that myself. I'm doing the painting slowly, uh, patching holes up in my walls. Uh, I'm not all the way done, but I'm done at, the, at a point where I can breathe and know things are getting off my plate. Okay, I thought I would record what it looks like so far so you can see the final well it's not final I still got to paint I've been uh, patching holes up in my dining room and front room where I had hung stuff and I don't want it there but uh, everything on here the lamp all, all that I went to the thrift store and I thrifted all that and I just thought oh my goodness it just turned out so nice I just like that so I like browns or tones so I'm an outsidey person but uh, everything you see there is from the thrift store, except for the little thing right there my granddaughter made when she was in school. So, and that picture over there is from the thrift store. But this is my dining room so far. I'm gonna use it for my plants. So that lamp and everything from the thrift store. See, I still have to do painting. I'm just touching up holes. This was in my kitchen, and it's going to go downstairs and hold my heat press. So I haven't got that down there yet. So let's go on into the front room. All right, now we're going into my front room. And uh, here we notice all the baseboard. I didn't show you that the dining room. That's what I just got done uh, cutting and putting up is my baseboard. Now I just hung all that wallpaper up. I put in a little fake fireplace there so when I'm up in the mornings it uh, looks so nice. I trimmed out all of my shelving. I put those shelves, I cut holes in my wall and uh, I put those inside my wall. So I did that before and I just never finished trimming them up. I hung shelves above my windows, not gonna put up curtains, they just get dusty. And I just put stuff above the, above the windows. So, Sorry, it's getting dark. Let's see if I can get in a different light. All right, now I hung up all of this uh, paneling behind my, behind my couch there. So let's get on this side, see if I can show you an angle from this side. The only thing I have to finish is this railing here. My sister must know I'm recording. Okay, there's the overview of everything. Bye everyone. So, but I have been down here doing a few things. Uh, I made my sister a purse for her birthday. And uh, I'm busy making some Christmas presents right now, and they're going to be bags as well. So I'm busy down here today, uh, going to do some sewing, and uh, going to get back on board with my sewing. And uh, I think my channel is not just going to be sewing, it's going to be everything. I am going to do everything I want to do instead of put myself in this little box and say, this is what you got to do, this is what you got to do, and... Uh, I love all the challenges and I love all that, but somehow it just got got me thinking I wasn't moving. I wasn't, I was just, I was in a box and I'm, I'm coming out of the box. I'm out of the box and I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing at the time. So uh, I will tell you more as I go and I'll show you pictures as what I'm doing in my house. And uh, let's get back to making videos. So Hey, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. So go out, do something creative today, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord and your blessings will always come back to you.
So God bless everybody, and I will see you real soon with uh, maybe another copycat video, a uh, sew along. Uh, I got some ideas, and I'm just going to start filling them. And if they look good, I'll show them to you. If they look turn out stupid, I might still show them to you. <laughs> so, all right, everyone. Bye-bye. God bless.